Guys, get ready with me. It's been a while. I think someone tagged me in their story actually that they were watching. Hello? They can't extend my late checkup. Anyway, what time is it? That means I have about... Psych, I have a lot of time. It's 11.15 right now. What was I saying? Someone <laughs> tagged me in a story where they were watching my first ever video, I think, on YouTube. And it was my Get Ready With Me. And that one actually did pretty well. <laughs> and I was watching that. And that since that was like so long ago, obviously my makeup style has changed and everything. So let's just do another Get Ready With Me with my current skincare and makeup routine. I know a lot of you noticed that my makeup has gotten really, really natural. But I do want to say that it's probably because like my skin has gotten so much better. Um, this thing has like a beauty filter-ish, but like if you look at my pictures, I rarely edit it. My skin has just been doing really good, so I think that's one of the factors that contribute to having really good natural makeup. I already washed my face. Now we're gonna go into toner. I am having like a shoot for Skin 1004, so which is why I'm gonna use a lot of their products today because those are the only products that I've bought. But I do actually use a lot of like variety of products because I receive a lot of them in PR and I do select the ones that I really like the most. I just use them like alternately. I like to use toner pads too. Let me just wipe it all over my face. They feel so good on the skin and they're so like effective in making sure like your makeup looks good. Let's just do one more for the forehead. Okay. I bought this one recently. It's from Torasu because I do have kind of like really obvious bags. I mean, I do sleep a lot, but still. Yeah, so let's just go in with eye cream. I like the fact that they gave this like roller thing. But this one is also actually really good because it's like a thick consistency, but it doesn't leave like your skin feeling like heavy, like, especially under the eyes. My under eye area is really like thin, so it's really sensitive. And this one I think like just really helps. Oh, and then for like the toner pads, I don't put it longer than like five minutes. So this is just like therapeutic for me. Especially when you wake up and you have like puffy eyes. This is just like perfect, you know? Be done with that. Let me just take it out. You see? Do you how like your skin is just automatically glowing? So I think that's like my top beauty secret toner pads. Like I use them all the time, morning, evening. Oh, one thing I learned, I don't want to actually put in a large amount of like serum or moisturizer. So you just want to put in like two drops, two or three, three max. Especially if you want to add in more serums. And also I like to use niacinamide in the morning. I don't really use retinol frequently. I use retinol like once a week. And then at night I use vitamin C. And now I'm just gonna go in with a moisturizer. I actually really like this one. This one from Skin 1004. It's like this really jelly-ish. You don't wanna put a lot. Now that that's done, now I'm gonna go in with sunscreen. Sunscreen, I feel like any Korean sunscreen is like the best. But I think you can also choose like which one suits your skin better because I noticed some are more watery than others. My skin isn't really like too dry or too oily. It's so, like the perfect in the middle. My skin just suits any sunscreen to be honest. This one's good too. I like the Isn't Tree one too. I like the Beauty of Joseon one too. Korean sunscreens on top, okay. Now let's get into makeup. Oh wait, let me... I like to spray my face with like a mist just to like prep my face. I've been loving this one. It's from Caudalie. I think... <coughs> so this one kind of like makes you feel... It makes your skin feel like fresh. I think it has like orange or mint in it. It has mint. Yeah, it does have orange blossom too. It's giving that little pop. Okay, now let's get into makeup. So I don't really use primer. I don't really see the difference um, when I'm wearing primer and when I'm not. And then some primers just tend to like, it's just not comfortable. Even if I don't use it, like my makeup is still stuck on my face for a very long time. So don't worry. So we're gonna go straight into cushion. I've been using this one, Muse. I really like this one because it has a very, very, very natural and like dewy finish but the thing is I mean I also mentioned this in my Q&A video like why it's my favorite but the only downside is that because it's so natural there's no coverage that's it you see 
you see the difference? That's my real skin and that silk cushion. Like, I think the shade match is really good too, but that's the thing. It's because it's so light. Even if you layer it on, it doesn't feel like anything. If you're not really struggling with a lot of like acne and you're just mostly struggling with like just complexion, I think this would be good for you. But if you want like something with more coverage, I like to use the Espoir cushion. Also because I'm like very warm tone, I'm like very yellow, I'm just very Asian. A lot of the shades in Korea, like the cushions, most of them, okay, maybe not most, but like a lot of the ones that I test on my hand, a lot of them are cool tone. And when I was like just starting out in makeup, I bought a lot that were like cool tone. And then when I wore it, I just look like gray. This is a trick that I learned that if you want like a really natural, nice finish, you just want to like tap here and then tap here first so that you can control the amount of like foundation that you're putting. And then we're gonna go in with concealer. Same thing with concealer. I struggled a lot trying to find like a warm tone concealer shade. So I found the perfect one, this is Luna. I've been sticking with this. I used to use the Maybelline, but I think Luna just has like a more natural finish. Put like one dot here. Here, that, that. that's it. I think it's a myth that like if you tap harder, then the product is gonna sit better on your skin. I used to do that, like, but now I'm just like, okay. You see, you see the natural finish. That's it for my base. We're gonna go into eyebrow now. So for my brows, I usually just like trim it because I have like a jungle up here. It's it's a jungle. I use like a brow gel. So. This one is from Sephora. It's the Clear Gel Sore Sills Transparent Clear Brow Gel. I've been loving the upward motion since like this has been like my thing since silk brows were a thing. So I like doing this instead of just like to make it look more fluffy. For me to do this, it's important that I trim my eyebrows because if I don't trim it and I do this, then I look like Shin Chan. Anyway, so this is base brow done. I've been like doing really simple makeup because I feel like I only do like really heavy makeup when I have shoots and usually most of the time there's like a makeup artist. So a lot of the makeup that I do recently are just more like really daily, really like quick makeup. So I've been using this Daisy palette. Definitely I would say a lot of the colors are really pastel. It's not like suitable for like heavy American makeup obviously. I'm looking for my brush. Okay, let's just use this. I actually still don't know like how to use my brushes. I just know the difference between this and like this probably. Like this I use this for blush and this for highlighter. And then this is like for like my under eye powder thingy. Maybe you can use this for contour. I don't know. I just use whatever. Um, we're gonna use this. I'm gonna take this one. This is like my really everyday look. I had a mirror here this whole time. Put it in like the creases, as they call it. Blend it. So I basically just do whatever. I don't know any techniques or whatever, I just do it. This is the same as like my last get ready with me, I think. Like I haven't improved in that sense. I like to put like a bit here just to add like color. So it's not really obvious on camera, but there's like a little bit of color here, do you see? Then now I'm gonna take like this really tiny flat brush. It's not really tiny, but it's like a flat brush. I'm gonna take this darker color and then we're gonna put it like at the, what do you call it, the outer corner. Can you guys see? You just put it here, okay? And then just like blend it out and just, just hope for the best. So sometimes I do mess up, um, but once you blend it out, and I like to use my fingers a lot, it just looks natural already. And that's why I love the Korean palettes because they're just like so subtle and like natural. So it's really difficult to mess up unless you're really bad at makeup. Like no one notices. Like everyone's just so into themselves nowadays that they don't notice other people. And then we're, I'm gonna take this like brown um, glitter here. Yogi. Okay, sorry, I was just appreciating my visuals. And I'm gonna use this lighter glitter on like my inner corner. So as you can see, I use my fingers a lot because I think it blends better. Yeah. I used to shy away from like using too much glitter because I felt like, oh, I'm gonna look dumb if I put too much glitter. I'm gonna look like a kid. But like, no, it actually looks good. Like if you just you blend it out, even if you put a lot, because these types of glitters are like just very subtle, it just looks good. Yeah, we're gonna go in with this Agio liner. It has, it's a double-ended um, liner. So one's like highlighter, one's like contour. So so I like to do that. So like my Agio cell comes up and then I just contour it like, you see? And then I just add this uh, highlighter part. So this one, even in real life, it looks really natural. 
it doesn't look like you drew it in. I think another factor is because I also naturally just have those like, I've been utilizing my bags as Aegyo styles. So, and then I think I'm gonna put this like a bit more chunky glitter right here in my inner corner. We look like we're on the verge of crying. Now we're gonna draw in eyeliners. I'm gonna draw in from the center outwards and then just like in a straight line. Okay, I lied. I didn't get to do straight line. I did more of like a whoop curve. So what I learned is like you want to like do this more. Get it as close as possible to like your waterline. Every time I get my makeup done, the, the makeup artist likes to use like brush, like a really tiny brush. They use shadow, eyeshadow more. And then they just like do this and then like they really put it on your lash line. But I have no time for that. Ta-da! I used to use a lot of like um, pen liner. Now I like this more, this pencil more because it's more subtle. And I like brown eyeliner more, now more than black. And then even with mascara, I am opting more for like brown mascara. But because I don't have that today with me, I forgot to bring it. I'm just gonna do that. I always perm my lashes like once a month because the difference is amazing. Mm, let's go into blush. I like to top it off with a powder blush. So this one is from Daisy. I like to mix. Like if I'm already using like a pink liquid blush, I'll use the coral one just because it's not a crime to mix your blush colors. You don't care on the top of your cheeks. Oh, I love this one. It's from Pat McGrath. It is a Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder because I drew on the Aegyosa. I want to make sure that it doesn't move. So I'm going to use this one from Too Cool for School. I think this one's really famous in Korea. Like, I feel like almost everyone uses this contour palette. So actually for contour, I still do struggle a lot. still don't know how my makeup artist does it. She does it just like so natural. I think you just need like a lighter hand with your brush and not put too much pressure on it. And you want to slowly build it up instead of like getting like a chunk of product and like drawing a brown line, you know. Like, I think this is okay. Ooh, my nose is, it has a bridge now. I'm gonna use the same brush. I like to like just contour like this downwards. This is something I learned on TikTok too. Apparently if you have a round face, instead of doing this, you wanna go down. But I think actually I lost um, a lot of like my baby fat compared to before. I think before I was like more, my baby fat kind of like went away. I'm getting older. That's it, that's good enough. The highlight of the makeup. I've been loving this one. It's from Dear Dahlia. It's in the shade Bliss. I used this highlighter when I went to go meet my friends and they were all like, oh my God, what did you use? Use this brush, do this. You see? Oh, it looks so good. And the nose, eyebrow. But the thing with this highlighter is like you can like put a lot and just like layer it. And then now we're gonna go into lips and then we're done. So I usually have my lip liner, but I forgot to bring that too with me. You just put it on top of your lips here and then down here and then it just like makes your lips look fuller. I like this one from Daysick because it's kind of like a tinted lip balm. It's in the shade Cherry Jam. If you look at my last Get Ready With Me, it was, I think I used like a matte lipstick, but now I've, I've bought like a lot of more like glossy ones. So these are like my favorite. They all look like they're the same shade, but they're not. One's from Peripera in shade 4, one's from Amuse, and one's from Daisy. So the thing is, when I did my personal color analysis, like the person there was like, oh, you're a spring bride, so you really suit like a lot of coral, like bright colors. I was used to using a lot of like really deep red, dark red colors at the time. So I was like, oh my god, like, will I suit like a coral? And I bought it and I used it and it actually looked really good. I'm gonna use this one, the coral. <laughs> And I learned this on TikTok too. I learned everything on TikTok. Apparently, when you use a lip tint, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to like put some on your lower lip and then just blend the, the outer part out. I think it will look way better if you had like a lip liner because it looks so much more natural. I'm trying so hard to not do... That's it! That's literally how I did my makeup. I'm gonna use this setting spray. This one's really good too. I think it's the most famous setting spray in Korea or like in Olive Young. Let me just change and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what other contents you want to see from me. And yeah, that's it guys. Bye.